Hi, this is Marlon Balbastro from Wizbyte Creatives. And today I'm going to show you how to make glow object in Photoshop. Alright, so let's get started. Wizbyte Creatives. The first step is drag and drop an image into canvas. Next, we'll separate the object from its background by making a selection around the object. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, I'll use the quick selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, makes its radius anywhere between 30 and 80 pixels. Drag the tool over the inside of your subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To refine the selection's edges, click Refine Edge. Drag the smooth a little bit to the right. Check Decontaminate Colors, which prevents color fringing along the edges. Drag the amount all the way to the right. Output it to a new layer with Layer Mask. Now select the subject, we'll separate the subject from its background by making a selection around the subject. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To refine the selection's edges, click Refine Edge. Check Smart Radius. This detects smooth and hard edges. Drag the radius a little bit to the right. Check Decontaminate Colors, which prevents color fringing along the edges. Drag the amount all the way to the right. Convert this layer to Smart Object. Let's name it Subject. Make the background layer active and go to Adjustment Layer and click Color Lookup. Load 3D LUT and select Moonlight. Go to Adjustment Layer and click Levels. Make the output level 78%. Group layer by pressing Ctrl or Command G. Let's name this Night Effect. Make the object layer active and group layer by pressing Ctrl or Command G. Let's name it Ball. Make the object layer active and duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to Filter. Blur and Gaussian Blur. Make its radius 5 pixels. Set the blending mode to linear dot add. Duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Double click on filter effect and make its radius 50 pixels. Duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Double click on filter effect and make its radius 100 pixels. Duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Double click on filter effect and make its radius 150 pixels. Go to Adjustment layer and click Hue Saturation. Click on Clipping Mask and select Colorize. Change any color you like, you can always change it later if you want. Increase the saturation to your reference. Make the Night Effect layer active and click Add Later Mask. Make the Subject layer active. Right-click, and click Select Pixels. Click the Eyeball icon to hide the subject layer. Click on Night Effect Clipping Mask. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. 
pick a soft round brush. It's opacity 100% and flow 15%. Make sure foreground color is set to black. Make the hue saturation layer active and duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Click subject layer, right click and click select pixels. Click on hue saturation clipping mask and inverse selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Change the blending mode to overlay. Go to layer styles and click blending options. Hold the ALT key on your keyboard to split the transition. Make the top layer active and open the adjustment layer. Click color lookup, load 3D LUT. And select late sunset. Change the blending mode to soft light and make opacity 75%. This is Marlon Balbastro from WizByte Creatives. Thanks for watching.